Hello and welcome to another Tech Monkey cast. I'm going to be uh, doing another one of my Casting the Casters series, this time featuring Speed 2. I did promise Brink I would do another cast of him because he wasn't too pleased that the only one I've done is him on Gap, which everybody loves to hate, including myself. However, I watched Speed 2's channel the other day and he had this game on there, uh, just recorded from his point of view, and I thought it would be a really good game to cast. If any of you saw it, then uh, let me know what you think of this cast. If you didn't see it, watch this through because it's some epic gameplay. Uh, I'm going to bring the advice that I just run everything at normal speed till I get used to the casting experiences. Uh, however, I'm going to knock it up to a higher speed just for now until the game gets going. Because the insanity doesn't start till later on. So, uh, what we've got is a uh, 5v5 on Wonder, uh, we've got Team 1 at the top. Mang Magan as Seraphim. Memo Uchi, Memo Uchiha, Momo Uchiha as UEF. We have Gem as um, Cybran. Wes Mania as Cyber and Magan as Seraphim. Down in the bottom, one of Team 2's best buddies, Takito, running as Seraphim. Exotic running as UEF, which I think is another one of uh, Speed's teammates. Robert C, definitely one of te Speed's teammates, running as UEF. And the cool game of running UEF. Then the man himself in the back, where everybody loves to hit or hates to see speed play, is Speed himself. Um, going Aeon with his air. Going in the Aeon spot. So, um,. Yeah, if you've not seen Speed 2 play this game before, the last place you want to see him is in the air spot at the back. Um, the game starts off pretty standard, as you can see, everybody's doing a bit of a fight for the land grab while the air players are teching up, uh, trying to get their air game on. Team 1's doing a very good job of scouting. See, they've seen pretty much everything that's going on. Team 2, not as many scouts, but they've still got a good idea what's going on on the map. Just having a look at the chat, something interesting. Yeah, Gem says there, so if we don't win until min 10 speed, 2 will murder us with strats. Keep that in mind. So I'll knock the speed down now, the game's definitely underway. And see Wesmania here has got a lot of units to the front, as has Magan. Um Robert C and Cool Gamer don't seem like uh, they've got enough to fight it off if they do a serious push now. In fact, Cool Gamer's ACU's already under attack and getting pinged. Rest of the map, there's not a lot happening. All the work seems to be happening on the right. Takito's having push with a tech to assault bot over on the right hand side. Ulshiba, I think. And Cool Gamer's in some real trouble here. Robert C's trying to help out, but just doesn't have the units to cover it. Some T1 point defense to help him out. Oh, I'm trying to push out some more very quickly. Well, he's got two ACUs and a lot of units. Three ACUs, in fact, as uh, gems coming in from the back. Gem still on T1 air. Speed just got his T2 air factory up. 
everybody's starting to get a few T2 mass extractors. With the exception of Magan, it looks like. I can't see any T2 mass extractors from Magan, so he's a bit far behind in that respect. They're all over uh, Cool Gamer here, and he's down at 700 health. It's not looking good. Need a miracle. 300. 200, 100, and good night. And that's Magan out, so Team 1 taking an early advantage. And again, Gem is warning the rest of the team there to not turtle or uh, speed 2, we'll own them with strats. And he's staying true to his word that we've now got three ACUs right at the front, which is a problem now for Robert C. Don't think he's got the units to deal with this himself. Down at 6,000 health. Exotic, exotic retards trying to help out. It's sending in some units. Got a few T2 tanks, but it's down to under a thousand health now, and it's just not going to be enough. 500. Oh, he got a veterancy there. Just got a veterancy, and, and the health jumped up, but still not enough. Boom! That's two from Team Two down. Now, Gem is predicting uh, Speed will do mercies just as Speed 2's first mercy rolls off the production line. And I'm not sure what happened at Gem there. I think he must have control kid. In fact, I think I remember from Speed 2's replay of this, uh, or his cast of this, that they uh, he got disconnected. I may have that wrong, feel free to connect, correct me in the comments. So, all in all, not looking good for Speed 2's team at all. You can see now Team 1 flooding in with the T1 spam. Focusing in now on Retard's ACU. Uh, and it's not looking good for him. He's trying to desperately pump out the T2 point defence, T2 unit. one point defence but there's just too much and kaboom down he goes so Takito and Speed left on team 2 can see Speed 2's busy building walls and I've noticed him do this before and I really like it because he doesn't build walls and wall himself in but what he does do is make it so there's a kind of a, a filter for where the enemy units have to come so they have to all filter through and it causes them all to bunch up and they're a bit easier to kill. Where's Manny got took out there? I don't know what that was by. Sorry, I missed that. I think it was uh, actually Mercy's Speed 2 did have a couple of Mercy's so if he was low on health could have took him out just with a couple of Mercy's there. And you can see now Speed's moving his AC up to catch that bottleneck of T1 units. Kito is doing what he can to try and protect himself from the same fate as his teammates. So it's now two versus three. Speed two has another couple of mercies ready to try and uh, take out one of the team. Three Mercies out, but Takito's now looking in trouble. He's got a few more Ilshivas out that'll uh, clear up a lot of these T1 units. But Magan's pushing, uh, doing a T2 point defence creep slowly towards his base. And Takito's now in a lot of trouble. He's losing a lot of health. I don't know how good they are or really what they do. An absolver shield disruptor. But Takito now in a whole world of pain. No ill shivers left. No point defence or one T1 point defence there. Blapping away but not really going to save him.
Who are these shield disruptors now? There's a lot of units in this game I just haven't used. <laughs> and even the ones I have used, I don't know a lot about them. So he's... Uh, so, I'm guessing by the name, these things are particularly good at taking out shields. And it looks like, yeah, a couple of shots and they've got that shield down. Got a hell of a range on them. 8,000 health on Takito. You can see a scout plane going... Scout plane going on Nova Uchicha. Momo, I'm just going to call him Momo because his name's far too confusing. Another scout plane going in and the sniper bot firing. Tokito must have got a few veterans there and he's back up to full health almost. Which is pretty impressive, really. see Jim even though he's out of the game. Oh so Jim can't have disconnected, he must have got killed somehow. Sorry if I missed that. Uh and just while we're waiting for some more action to happen, um oh in fact the action's about to happen. I can see those mercies moving out now I reckon they're going for uh Momo's ACU seeing as he's out in the open. And there's a hell of a lot of mercies as well, so it'll be an easy snipe. Still no air from Team 1 at all. Which is a huge mistake if you're playing against speed, really. I know they decided early on to go with a T1 land rush, but... I think that's got them as far as it's going to go. They might still get to Quito. Those mercies still haven't moved out anyway. Uh, what I was going to say before is I've got a post on the forums asking what people think of the idea of having a proper league table for FAF. Um, and it looks like Takito's going to be down. Basically, so there's proper a league table for who's who's fighting who, who's won it, the most battles, how many fights everybody's had. Um, basically, so we can get some proper player stats for when we're casting, and Takito's going down here. If you think it's a good idea, please go on to the forums and put your vote in uh, to the post. I will put a link in the comments section below. just think it'd be a very handy thing, not just for casting, but for the games as a general. Um, to know how players are doing, to know who the t real top players are, to have a league table. I did mention it once before and was told that it would stop people playing against the top players, but I don't think it would. I think uh, everybody plays games with league tables and rankings, whether it's Call of Duty or any other game, and it doesn't stop people from playing. Everybody just wants to get to the top of the table. It increases the competition, if anything. You can see now it's down to speed 2, 3 versus 1. Um, but knowing speed, that won't be a problem. Sees Eco's way above everybody else's at the moment. I missed, somehow missed OK Puck when I was reading out the names. OK Puck, <laughs> apologies. Uh, but yeah, OK Puck's mass stalling. Magan's mass stalling. Almost mass stalling. Speed 2. Perfect. back to the game and you can see Speed 2's pushing out the Tech 2 gunships, pushing out the T3 land units, slowly clearing out the area that Team 1 just fought so hard for. Harbingers doing their job well. The 
thing about Speed 2 and his playstyle that I find so amazing is the fact that he can uh, control so many units in so many different places all at the same time. I just don't have uh, that amount of skill or speed in me to do it. These T2 gunships now flying around the outside, looking like they're going for a uh, raid on OK Pucks ACU. Taking out those mass extractors, which is perfect timing because OK Puck is just asking for mass now. Seen some T3 air and land up for OK Puck at the back. Yet still no T3 air from uh, Speed himself. Harbinger's now making a push into the back base. Uh, I'm going to take out that T2 mass extractor, which is going to further hamper, no, fam, hamper OK Puck's economy. As well as the uh, T2 gunships also working on the T2 mass extractors. And there's nothing they can do about it. This little group of interceptors heading up from Momo is just not going to cut the mustard. Oh, there's so many swift winds. So far, Team 1 are finding it hard to answer Speed 2's aggression. These Harbingers just raining death on that T3 air factory. Guessing Momo must be stalling now massively. Oh, quite the opposite. He's overflowing in everything, but that's because he can't build. Oh, okay, Puck I'm meant to be looking at, but he's overflowing as well. And now, Speed 2 moving those gunships around at the back of Momos. Slowly killing their economy, stopping them from upgrading, building, going any further. So if you look at this now, you've got Speed 2 controlling this little group in the middle of Harbingers, gunships at the back up here, Harbinger at the back here, well he's not really controlling these ones at the front but yeah, no, now they're moving in. just insane to watch. I do suggest you watch his uh, point of view uh, video purely because the amount of clicks he's doing selecting I just whenever I try that I'm misclicking things I'm selecting when I think they should be selecting. I've changed my mouse twice thinking it was a mouse problem but it just seems to be a uh, problem between the keyboard and seat if I'm honest. Slowly but surely, he's just devastating their economy. You know, make Magan's the only uh, one with anything like an economy left to speak of, but Speed's now moving a couple of Harbingers in to deal with that side of things as well. another Tech 2 Air Factory, not bothering with Tech 3 Air, it doesn't look like he has got a Tech 3 Air Factory up now, but whether it's needed or not is another matter. Gunship's coming in to take out yet more um, economy for Team two, Team 1. 
also suggest uh, watching Speed's tutorial videos. He's got some excellent uh, beginner and high level tutorials uh, ranging from how to micro to how to build your economy to how to do cheesy snipes. Uh, a lot of people don't like the cheesy snipes but everything's a valid tactic, you just need to know how to fight against it. In my experience, and I'm definitely not the most experienced player, every uh, tactic in this game has its counter. Every unit has its counter. You can see all Speed 2's gunships are almost down now as uh, Team 1 spam out the uh, mobile flak. They've spotted this drop coming around the back. Got a couple more harbingers in it by the looks of it. Oh, and it's down. T3 anti air. Well placed. This team will now beginning to get back on track, even though they've had their economy destroyed for the most part. Two now getting a couple of T3 engineers and loading them into a transport. But still, this group of harbingers are just wrecking. Okay, okay, Puck's uh, base. There's another group following those up through the middle. Okay, Puck looks like he's got a lot of units there in the middle himself, but it seems to have a lot of flak couple of T3 units so one T3 unit, no two T3 Othams, Othalothams as Brink calls them the rest will just die to Harbinger death spam Team, team 1 just not scouting now at all Their knowledge of speeds setup is uh, slowly getting outdated. And those harbingers are about to lay waste to what's left of OK Puck's base. drop here on the left of a couple more harbingers for speed. And team 1 genuinely just seem to have no answer for it. It would have been uh, nicer to drop a little further back and not right next to those T1 PDs but they won't do much damage to the harbingers. A few Percivals that will do a severe amount of damage there to the harbingers but I think there's just too many harbingers for them to be able to deal with them all. Yeah, down to one Percival now. Couple of mobile artillery there for uh, Magan, dealing some damage to that middle base, but it's just not going to do any good, I don't think. more awful offens for um, Magan coming out there on the left hand side to try and deal with those harbingers but you can see OK Puck's base now is just destroyed as soon as that T3 factory is down that's kind of the end of it he's got no way of producing oh he's got he's got a, about another 10 harbingers heading up towards that Speed 2 dropping some engineers, those T3 engineers. T2 engineers and T1 engineers up there. Get a little proxy base. And 
Jim there, just give him speed his due plot. It's uh, to take on three players, and they're not low level players, but by all means he's 600 ranks against the highest one of them, but there are three of them. To take on three players is just some amazing feat. I've tried taking on players that are two or three hundred ranks below me before and just got destroyed instantly. So it's really one versus two now. I think we can pretty much call Magan um OK Puck out of the game. Got very little bill power left. He's trying to get a GC up. Sorry, a, a, a Yotha up. A chicken. B2 going in for the snipe with the uh, strap bombers. Flying over a lot of T2 on the air, which is a bit of a mistake, but they're having trouble just getting the shots off on him. And down he goes. Tried doing a little bit of a uh, micro. Gem giving him some advice to walk in circles, which is the only way to even attempt to avoid it. <laughs> and okay, Puck cannot believe the fact that they lost when they wiped out so many of Team 2 to begin with. It would be a hard pill to swallow to take out three of the enemy team, four of the enemy team and still lose. Uh, Jim's there saying uh, I shouldn't have died like an idiot so I'm guessing he did get taken out. Um, must have been some mercies or something I missed. Oh, hang on we might actually find out here. Oh well, fair enough. I don't feel so bad for not knowing how he died. He doesn't know how he died either. Oh, and I missed that, sorry. Uh, Strap Bomber's there taking out Momo as well. And I think that's pretty much it. Oh, they're saying it was Mercy's that took him out. A low level look of how uh okay puck's gonna die you can see the strap bombers coming in from a distance heavily laden with their big bombs and pa boom pa boom pa boom bang there it is that lovely RK explosion mod and down he goes I believe that's RK Explosion mod and two right speed. Unbelievably so. Absolutely amazing game to watch from speed two. Um, how he does it, I'll never quite understand. I just don't have the hand speed, the coordination, or the ability to click on the things I need to click on. Well played. Check out Speed 2's cast, as I say, uh, and don't forget to leave a comment on the forum for whether you think it's a good idea to have some player statistics and lead tables. Thanks for watching. I'm Tech Monkey. Take care.